Now I'm going to render in this window and the blind. So I'm going to start off with using my um, my uni pin and my Edding uh, black permanent pen. And I'm just going to start with the outside of the window frame. I'm literally putting as much black in here as I can uh, without the marker bleeding over because I don't really want it bleeding onto the glass. Okay, and for the finer detail here, I'm going to have to use uh, my fine liner. The upper part of the window here isn't going to see much light at all, so I'm blocking that in in its entirety. And this side, if we're assuming that the light is coming in from this direction, it's going to hit the bars on this side, not on the right hand side, but on the left hand side. So again, I'm going to block these out completely too. Now, you don't have to get complete coverage, and you can add to this as you go along, but I'm just going to start doing the bars here. So you can see I'm leaving a light spot on the right-hand side of these bars. And I'm leaving a light spot right at the very bottom there. Now, for the crossbars here. is coming in from the top right hand side you might get a little bit of light just hitting across uh, running across the top of the bars across bars of these windows so that'll do for the moment. Now, the blind. How do we render a blind? Well, let's assume that this is a lighter colour blind that we're going for. And what I'm going to do is use a warm grey marker. I'm also going to assume that the main row of the blind is up here and sitting behind the pull down blind. And as the sun shines through, we should be able to see the shadow of the window bar and of um, the roll that sits behind the pull down blind. So I just want to let that dry just a tiny bit even. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is just literally with a warm grey uh, one, just pull lines down just to give the impression of sunlight filtering through. 
And I'm going to let that dry and I might enhance it a little bit further. But um, as we go here, I'm going to take my white pencil. I'm just going to have a look and see. I may use a jelly roll pen for this. I'm just going to take a look and see how uh, that works out. I'm going to use a thicker jelly roll pen actually this time. I'm going to use a 0.8 here. Okay, so let's just have a look here. Let's see, does this work? Not bad, no. I think I'll use my jelly roll pen for this. So, yeah. So the light's going to hit that window there. And down here. Down here. I mean, I could have just blocked these windows in purely black, but what you find is that, you know, if you show where the light is coming from, it just brings your rendering to life and gives it a feel of three dimensions more so than if you don't. Let's see, is that dry? Looks a little dry there. I'm just going to put another one down here. That'll dry out as well, so it won't be as obvious. Okay, so that's how you render in crittle windows and a blind.